So thank you, thank you um, to this panel. Um, we are unintentionally unbalanced on this panel because um, Patty Tucker, who is the executive associate director for health equity, was originally attended to be on this panel, uh, and she's from the uh, uh, roundtable on the promotion of health equity uh, and elimination of health disparities. So um, I want to make sure that uh, I acknowledge that. And I wonder, uh, with respect to a couple things we might do at this point. One, I, I'd, I'd like to see if there are comments or questions or reactions to what these two panelists have challenged us with. Uh, and then, uh, obviously, I want to move to reactions. And I'm pretending to move, want to move to reactions from the Health Equity Roundtable members first to create a little balance in, in the perspectives here. Um, so with a little warning to the, to the members of that roundtable who I'd like to invite to go to the microphone, I'd first ask if there are any particular reactions or questions for either Sandy or Jeff. Uh, please go to the microphone. Uh, and then uh, I understand that um, those who are watching on the web, even though its uh, time zones are progressively later going east, uh, if those out there, if you have questions, you can click on the web page and write in a question, and we will bring it to the microphone, a question or a comment to, to the three questions I posed earlier. Martha? Jeff, I wanted to go back to your first point, um, which was about being outside of partisan space and ask you to maybe elaborate a little bit more because um, it seems to me that what we really are knowing is that if we're really going to change fundamentally the social determinants of health, we're talking about redistribution and arguments over resources and profits and all of those things. And those are fundamentally, I think, or have, you know, or play out as partisan kinds of issues. So I guess I wonder if I'm misinterpreting how you mean that. So I, it is certainly, I'd, I'd be naive to suggest that some of these conversations are more likely to happen in one part of the political spectrum than in another. Um, but I also think that to achieve the kind of change we're talking about and sustain that kind of change, has to have a nonpartisan element to it, um, and in fact, ultimately may not happen without some kind of bipartisan support. Um, we may think, you know, there are those who think that, you know, passing the Affordable Care Act um, was incredibly difficult change. The kind of change we're talking about is much more fundamental than essentially propping up the private insurance system and providing new customers for the insurance industry. So I think that kind of change in this country requires a broader swath of support. And what's been interesting, not that I haven't been paying total attention to everything that's been going on here, some of the reaction to the president's speech and some of the thoughts that are out there about how you achieve, address some of those inequities and how other countries have addressed those inequities, sometimes have very conservative solutions with how you play with taxation policy and that sort of thing. And it isn't necessarily a direct, you know, the answer isn't necessarily a direct redistribution of income. So, and I think we need to be careful about making this case within our lane we're not a room full of economists. We're not a room full of tax experts. We're a room full of people who know a lot about health and what determines health. And I think we can be expressing that. And I think we need to be open to multiple approaches to what the solution may be. And in fact, you know, I think some of the best examples of addressing, in quotes, population health and, in quotes, equity has been some of the work that's come in coming out of, corp, of out of the capitalist investments in community redevelopment, uh, where people are making profits um, and yet are changing communities. And we need to be open to those kinds of approaches as well. So I think our lane is defining the problem, defining what will solve the problem, but being open to multiple approaches to what the specifics 
policies are that will get us there. Okay. Comment? Any other comments? Let's thank this panel and